Good evening. Scotland's business and political leaders have been holding talks about the aftermath of the EU referendum. In recent days, financial markets have settled down after the initial shock, but the underlying economy is beginning to show more signs of stress. Our business and economy editor, Douglas Fraser, has more. Douglas Fraser reporting there. Meanwhile, the First Minister, Nicola Sturgeon, has renewed her call for all EU citizens resident in the UK to be given the right to remain. She was speaking after talks with diplomats from EU governments in Edinburgh. Here's your political correspondent, Glenn Campbell. Liam Fox has been eliminated from the race to be the next Conservative leader and Prime Minister. A survivors group says it's lost confidence in the Scottish Government's child abuse inquiry. It follows the resignation of Chairwoman Susan O'Brien, who stepped down after the Deputy First Minister began formal proceedings to sack her. But John Swinney has denied undue interference and insisted the Government was trying to ensure costs associated with the inquiry were appropriate. Willie Johnson reports. Tennis and Andy Murray says he can't afford to think about the later stages at Wimbledon or he'll get distracted from tomorrow's quarter-final. He faces the world number 12, Joe Wilfred Songa of France, for a place in the semis. Keredin Itzan reports.